Meraki is going to go around the outside of Timot Marduk. And Timot Marduk is going to leave it on the inside here. And there's going to be contact between the two. And in fact, they go into each other. A bit of a swerve from Timot Marduk. Razit Shai right behind, waiting to pick up any of the scraps. Meraki parking it on the apex of turn 13. Clever racing. But Timot Marduk slams it up the inside of turn 16. Pushes Meraki off track. Oh and Razit. there's Razit Shai into the lead of the race. He started on pole and he's had to battle and wait and be patient throughout all of it. But Razin Shai is going to take his first win of the season, his third win overall, this round three, as they round Andretti. And Razin Shai has absolutely turned up trumped here oh and won the Grand word. Prix. Tiamat Marduk second, Meraki in third. It was all that lunch by Tiamat Marduk that gave Razin Shai that win. M Sky Z is going to come round in fourth, but that was an absolutely <laughs> cracking end of the race. And look, the fight for. T5, oh, Pei is in the wall, he's DNF'd, he's out of the race, he's not going to score any points here after all of that. Hayden Gullis secures fifth, his second best finish in the Creative Series, Tom back into sixth position, seventh is Sasso, oh. eighth, that guy Vince, ninth, Emphatic, and Punju in tenth, but of course points all the way down to 15th here, and Pei, who's DNF'd on the final corner, means this whole race is for nothing, and he is going to fall out of the top 15 here, and Ponden is going to pick up the final point here. <laughs> what a dramatic oh end word. to that race. How That was wild. What is your view of that? Hello, Emphatic. Welcome along to the broadcast. Sorry, we just dragged you in halfway through. Daniel speaking there. But um, a disappointing qualifying session for yourself there. P19, of course, you're in a fight for the constructors. Your teammate in a fight for the drivers. What, what went wrong out there first? Absolutely now, Thomas Ronhart right behind Otis Lawrence once again and oh you can just see that he's parking it a little bit on the apex, he's not allowing Thomas to springboard his way out of turn 3 through turns 4 and turn 5 as they head down the Raffles Boulevard and it's two tenths to gap, that's close enough to pounce, he's up the inside before they reach the kink of turn 6 and now around the outside of turn 7, Otis Lawrence absolutely sends it in and they're both off, this has happened and Hamilton asking Brazil, Thomas Ronha throws it up the inside and that's huge damage for the McLaren. You can see there's not orange wing damage more. There is no front wing and it's a game of bumper cars here on the streets weaving as well and these two are either having fun with it or at war. And we have two lights, three lights, four lights and five. And the creators go racing in 2024. And it looks to be a great start from Razin Shai, who's already up the inside of the McLaren of Sky Z. And GB68 also looks to get involved too and push out the McLaren. But the McLaren has stood firm on the inside as the two Aston Martins go two by two through the first long snail. That guy Vince trying to get involved with the fight as well and maybe try and go around the outside of Safso. But some good defensive manoeuvring have made him not lose out that place. But the Alpine there of Tom looking for a move as it's a bit of a lunge by that guy Vince as Sasso caught napping there but he'll have the inside of turns nine and this is a super super start here Razin Shai up into first yeah a really frenetic end to the creative series race there it always happens week after week and uh, Razin Shai is a little bit annoyed with this one he says why can't I catch a break and it was just Sky C sending it way too deep into the back of Razin Shai, nothing Razin could have done. Sky Z probably recognises that that oh, no, was on did. him. We just watch that one more time. Just so sends it in, caught yeah. out by the deceleration of Alex and Razin there. And uh, yeah, oh, someone no, else actually yeah. avoids, uh, gets involved there. That's Tom97 further down the line. Uh, it, Tom97 runs wide here. And uh, of course, he had that three second penalty from early doors because he was running in cockpit yeah. cam. And uh, M Sky Z does actually manage to make a move here up the inside, uh, but uh, yeah, in recovery mode there. And Razin will feel a bit hurt by that <laughs> one. <laughs> yeah, people, uh, there's there's a level of sweat, but there's also a level yeah. of um, content and people going to do it with uh, five minutes preparation, similar to our commentary tonight, actually. Uh, but, oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> how, what, what do you what do you mean our commentary tonight? Sorry, I, this is always <laughs> our commentary. I, I mean, look, as much as I have a notepad, this is mostly filled with rubbish that I put in through the broadcast. <laughs> uh, I don't even have a pen at the moment. Um, you know, I'm, I'm very not organised. Well, you saw my PowerPoint slides and, uh, you know, I didn't they even were, open one good. before they the race. Good. So... <laughs> oh, no. <laughs>
But no, I've got it all that work. No, no, it's, it's, I've got an iPad, so it's all, it's all fine. Anyway, less about my commentary notes and more about the on-track action. As we do see yellow, we see a retirement, Ooh. and we see a safety car. That confirms that the damage is on. And it was Altruds in the Alpine who suffered it. We haven't really heard much from him. He's had a moment at turn one on the exit there, and that has brought out a safety car, How? and that's turned this race on the head because do cars risk that wet tyre? We have rain on the horizon. Does anyone think about going onto a wet tyre or will it be a pair of softs as intermediates? We actually see rain coming down in front of us. Whoa. So this has, this has reset the grid in a kind of annoying way, if I'm honest. I hate a safety car as it comes out of rain because <laughs> there's one there's one choice you make. You come into a pit and you go on intermediates. Maybe five minutes earlier, should I pit yet? Shall I not? Shall I go on dry? So that would have really mixed things up. But everyone's going to go on to the intermediate tyre here. They've all had the decision took away from them with this safety car. But I tell you, he was really hurt by that, really, was Pookie because he had to be backed up behind his teammate. And that's lost him two positions to Konyi and Boda. Fighting, but Safso around the outside. Is there going to be another squeeze at T1? There is, but Safso more punchy, turning into the Williams driver. They're too wide up through Beau Rivage. It's almost Formula E-esque as they head into the Bassinet a section. And it is Safso fed into the wall. I think Muraki's still there, but I think Safso has got that position from the Williams driver. He's finally got through. He's punched his way through there. He knew the deal that Muraki Raki was going to deal it to him on the exit of T1 and he fought and drove back into the Williams driver to demand the space off him.